Well, you've been here the longest. Tell the man how long you've been here. <laughs> I was actually born Jew Avenue, three blocks away. I'm fairly new to Philadelphia. I've only been here 23, 24 years. You should do something because you get enjoyment out of it and you get fulfillment out of it. But it's awfully nice when other people do as well. In the beginning, I would have never thought handball would take me this far, but now we have over 30 people that come to the handball court that I teach to play handball. It's make it with the phone, with the phone on your hand. What I've come to learn in the last seven months is that one of the great things about the Fairmont Park Conservancy is that it has an agenda that includes parks across every part of the city. Some parks are spectacular places, others are little slivers of our urban community and over 20, 30, 40 years, people care about that little sliver like it's one of their family members. The Park Friends Network was one of the things I was introduced to. I've been in other cities around the United States and there aren't that many networks of local people that take care of their parks. It's fairly unusual what's been created here. The parks often take on the feeling of both the history and the current people that are there. And it's wonderful for me to get to know them. It's like a dinner party with hundreds of people you get to meet. When I look at photos where it was like vines, shrubs, you know, and we're walking down just trying to clear a path, shrill. You, know, you hear that sound? That's male toads calling the female no toads. Way. That is amazing. Yeah. I grew up in South Philadelphia where we could probably cut our lawn with scissors. Now I live in a neighborhood where we close the road so the toads can migrate. It was an army of two for the first couple years. We had some resources, had a lot of creativity, but we learned to be very lean. Fairmont Park Conservancy comes in because they have a stewardship program. You guys can bring resources that amplify our efforts many, 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 many times. And that's the kind of thing that really makes some of the bigger projects that we have in mind possible, that we could never do ourselves. The day my granddaughter took my great-granddaughter into the park to play, I cried. I was like, okay, this is all not in vain. It's part of my roots. This is my neighborhood. In the summertime, we do the, the summer camp. We have a tent here, uh -huh. a tent there, and a tent over in that area. Right. We have about 50 kids a day that come and get free lunch, and, and we also do a math and reading. The playground is run by the people that live in the community. We open it, we close it, we clean it. <laughs> Growing up in the neighborhood, you know, it was bad. Drug dealers everywhere the Handball Association really started coming into play, and my mindset changed. There's more possibilities. Now there's more hope for our youth. My brother, who was president for several years, was really following the tradition of my father. He was a member of Men of Clydon way back. So there was a whole circle of men in this area who felt it important to keep the live earth in the middle of where they lived. And so they made a commitment years ago, and we just sort of followed through. The members we have, they're dedicated, they care about the community, and they want to see it grow, want to see the kids have something to do, a good place to go and be safe. The neighborhood volunteers are perhaps more important than anyone else in the park system. They wouldn't call themselves park champions, they're just doing what they love. When we've gone to your meetings, it gave us a, a bigger picture. Because it's not like we're just the only playground that's been in need. I feel as though they have the same passion. We can learn from them, they can learn from us. In this time of upheaval, where people need positive things, this park reinforced the good things that people can do together. Philadelphia is a city that has really, over the last couple decades, put a lot of energy into transforming public spaces. And it's exciting to be part of this big network of people who are doing some of the most creative work in the United States. Now I can bring my granddaughter up here and say, I helped make this. This is a little bit of a legacy for you from me.